Do you know how to sell your home by following simple step? Here you go. If you are like most homeowners, your house is your biggest financial asset. It is also one of the most sentimental parts of your life. You have probably put lot of time, money and effort into making it special for your family. You have been diligent over the years to make it your home. And now it is time to get intentional about making it someone else place. Hi, this is Suma the real estate broker in the Bay Area. Whether you are a few months or a few years away from putting your home for sale in your front yard, these seven steps will help you to sell your house the right way. Find a wonderful, experienced real estate broker. Find someone who will super serve you, negotiate the best deal and sell your home fast. As tempting as it is to have a relative, a friend from church or a friend of a friend help you. Always stick with a professional who has experience and can sell your home for the money in the shortest amount of time. Now, let us discuss something that has crossed many home sellers' mind. Should I sell my home myself? Look, everybody loves to save the money. And selling solo can seem like a great way to do just that. But is for sale by homeowner really all it is cracked up to be? First of all, if you really want to sell your home, you need to get it in front of the buyers and lot of them. This is where an agent comes in handy. An experienced real estate agent will give your home a much more needed online presence through the multiple listing service and expose it to thousands of potential buyers. Plus, an agent will develop a target strategy to market your home to their extensive network of buyers and agents. Can you save big money by going for sale by owner? Not really. Even when you sell your home yourself, you still have to pay a commission to the buyer's agent. You would only save the commission on one side of the transaction. A seller agent will more than make up for that cost. Consider this. The latest National Association of Realtors statistics shows that the average home sold by an agent last year fetched 235k. In contrast, the average for sale by owner home went for 185k. That is a huge 50,000 difference. A great agent can help you to get the most money for your home. Number two, price your home. Remember this, your home is only worth what your buyers are willing to pay. Therefore, you need to be objective about your home's value. If you have lived in your home long enough to make memories, those sentimental ties could cloud your judgment. So, stick to the facts as much as possible when you estimate how much your home could sell for. The best way to determine your home's value is to ask a real estate agent to run a comparative market analysis. This free report compares your home to other homes nearby that are similar in size, have similar features and are either on the market or have sold in recent months. The comparison allows your agent to more accurately predict what buyers will pay for your home. Your CMA will offer several pages of information including photos and a map of all the properties included in the analysis. A true pro will take time to walk you through the results so you understand exactly how your home stacks up to the competition. With this information in hand, you can work with your agent to set a comparative price that is based on the fact, not on emotion. 
Number three, set a timeline. Make the most of the weeks and months leading up to your home sale. If you have an idea of what you want to list your house, break your to-do list into manageable bite-sized pieces. Here is a guide to get you started. Of course, you can adjust according to your own needs and personal timeline. Interview real estate agent. Take time to find a pro who has a proven track record and inspires you with confidence. Outline a plan. Work with your agent to set priorities so you can focus on knocking out one task at a time. Declutter. Decide what you can leave without until your home sells. Then pack it up and get it out. Two to three months, hire a home inspector, identify issues early, let your work fixes into your budget on the front end so they don't wreck your latter ideal items. Tackle the repairs, ask your agent where your fix it dollars will do the most good. Then set the stage, create an inviting space that enables buyer to see your house as their home. One week before, deep clean, scrub every surface to your shine. Hire a pro to make carpets and drugs look and smell new again. Apply the finishing touches. Get your home picture perfect so your photographer can capture it in the best possible light. Again, the key to keeping stress at control during the weeks and months leading up to putting your home on the market is to make a plan and then work that plan. Remember to accept help from a pro and just breathe. Number four, hire a professional to do the home inspection. Most home buyers know it. It pays to get a home inspection. But did you know it's a worthwhile tool for home sellers too? It is true. A pre-sale inspection might cost few hundred dollars, but it will be money well spent. Why? Because it can keep buyers from demanding big bucks at the negotiation table or worse, skipping out on the deal at the last minute. So, what is included in a home inspection? According to the American Society of Home Inspectors, a home inspection includes electrical, plumbing, heating and cooling systems, walls, ceilings, floors, windows, doors, then roof, attic, and visible insulation, foundation, basement, and structural components. A qualified home inspector cooms a property's accessible areas to assess the home's condition and identify any health and safety issues. Once the inspection is complete, you will receive a detailed report outlining what works and what does not with recommendations for maintenance and repairs. Don't worry about addressing every single finding in your home inspection, but do pay attention to your big ticket issues. This can scare buyers into asking for way more money than it actually takes to fix them. Your agent can help you sort through the findings, but the roof, electrical, plumbing, and HVAC systems typically take priority. If you have a room in your budget, take care of those before you list your home. Number five, stage and engage. Get your home ready. Once your home is in good working order, it is time to set the stage and show off its best features. That starts with deep cleaning. Here are some ways to make your house look great. Scrub every surface until it sparkles. 
we can't emphasize this enough. You need to clean your home and keep it clean during showings. Apply a fresh coat of paint. Paint is relatively cheap considering the impact it has on making a home look fresh and inviting. Pay a pro to deep clean rugs and carpets. Minimize clutter to maximize the space. Once you have a clean home, you can begin to stage. Keep your colors neutral and try to depersonalize as much as possible. Take down most of your family photos so buyers can picture their families enjoying your house. Closets are a big deal to home buyers, so create the impression of spaciousness by storing away out of season clothing and miscellaneous gear. Don't forget to stage outdoors too. Clean your front porch and place nice planters near your entryway. If you have a deck, pressure wash it and add a few colorful plants to give the space an extra pop. Make sure to prep your home to be show ready and camera ready. Professional photos that show off your home's features are an essential part of your online listing. Your agent should help to coordinate the photo shoot. So that's less pressure for you. Here are few additional staging tips to get your home ready for its glamour shot. There is a place for everything and everything needs to be in its place. Again, a tidy home is non-negotiable. Channel your inner Mr. Clean or Snow White and whistle while you work. If you have to, just clean up the place. Pick up the toys and pet stuff. Babies and puppies sell breakfast cereal, but not homes. Keep the kid clutter and pet supplies under wraps. Add extra touches, a pair of colorful pillows or few green plants will add color and life to any room. Clear the counters, throw your juicer and smoothie maker into the kitchen cabinet. The same goes for your bathrooms. Pitch those personal items in a drawer to keep them out of sight. Shine a light for all to see. Bright rooms make your home look bigger. Throw back the curtains, put up the blinds and let the sun shine in. Remember to wash your windows first. Go easy on the rugs. Rugs generally don't photograph well and can make your space look smaller. Your agent can help you to decide which rugs can stay and which one should go. Put your lid on it, your toilet that is. Friends don't let leave the lid up during a nice photo shoot. Keep in mind staging should accentuate the positives of your house without overwhelming potential buyers. The right real estate broker or an agent can help you to know the difference between good and gaudy staging. List your home and survive the showings. Home showings are hard to juggle whether your home is empty or full of kids running around. If you are still living in the home you are trying to sell, these handy tips can help you to stay sane and get your home sold. Make a daily to-do list. Surprise showings always seem to happen when your home is a complete wreck. Reduce last minute panic by putting things away as soon as you are done with them and creating a checklist of simple tasks to knock out before you leave every morning. That way you are always ready for the guest. Get the pets out of Dodge. Men's best friend can be your home deal's worst enemy. Leaving pets in the home for showings brings mess to mind and a 
Happy dog is just plain annoying. Take the fur babies for a joyride or send them to grandma's house so buyers can focus on your home's best features. Let it go. Separating yourself from the place you have called home can be hard. But if you want to make a deal, you have to give buyers time and space to fall in love with your home. Be flexible about scheduling showings and don't make buyers to step around you or your feelings when they visit. Tackle the toys. Paring down the piles of plastic is a tough task, but it sure does make clean up a breeze. Ask your kids to choose a few favorites to keep in their room, then store the rest in bins. Be sure to explain to them that they will see their toys again. If they get bored with their selections, you can again always rotate toys out. Enlist help from the kids. Want to ease your load? Give Junior a job to do. It's a great way to teach the value of hard work. Have little fun and build big motivation by running timed practice drills. Don't forget to recognize a job well done. If you can't spare extra cash, quality time spent with you works too. Try your best, but be human. There will be days you just cannot get everything put away and make it out the door on time. If you get a call for a showing, tell your agent what happened so they can prepare the buyer ahead of time. Just don't miss an opportunity to get your home seen. Number seven, seal the deal. Negotiations between you, the seller and the buyer kick off with the buyer's initial offer. Keep in mind the contract stage works differently in every state so your agent should explain state specific details of the offer in terms you understand. Never sign a purchase agreement before you are clear about what is included in the offer, what is not and how it affects you. Pay close attention to the following. Purchase price, closing or the escrow date, special allowances for personal property, home improvements and closing cost. Contingency deadlines for the home inspection, appraisal and buyer financing. Additional contingencies such as the sale of the buyer's current home. Once you and the buyer reach a final purchase agreement, you are not home free quite yet. There is still a lot to do from contract to closing. So here is how to manage this stage of the game. Don't wait until the last minute to pack. Keep your buyer in the loop. Keep your home insurance up to date until you have signed the dotted line. Make a list of what to bring on closing day. Remain flexible because delays can and will happen. Use a pro to sell your home. The best way to have a great experience selling your home is to partner with a professional. The right professional should guide you every step of the way without taking over the driver's seat. They should inform you but not overwhelm you. This is a long information. Hope you will understand. If you need any information, please call me. This is Sumashri, the real estate broker in the Bay Area with tradition of excellence and integrity. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.